Okay, folks, we may have found something interesting. Here we are at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Nevada, the robotics exhibit. So let's check this out. Oh, yeah, here's the, here's the lawn bot. I guess. It's the auto mower. I'm going to talk to these folks a little bit later. Just go into a safe sitting position and wait for someone to bring new batteries, <laughs> which you can switch out if you if you need a longer than four hour battery life. It uses regular laptop batteries. You just pop in um, new batteries if you want. He uses regular uh, laptop batteries, folks. It's the uh, let's see. It's the robot. <laughs> uh, also, it's pretty uh, cool to stand in there. We wanted it to, you want it to be like fall over. very stable. You don't want it to fall over if someone knocks into it, and so. Um, this is a, a very stable robot. It, it's it's resilient to being pushed around. Uh, yeah, you can roll over <laughs> someone's foot with no problem. Whoa! <laughs> um, and there, you can see there's also a joint Watch. here. So if you're standing on an inclined plane, there's uh, a spring damper system to, to deal with with obstacles. And also, if, if you are have to stand for a long time on a hillside, it can actuate this joint um, to maintain an upright robot, even um, on like a, a ramp or something like that. So, um, here is the robot. I'm gonna okay, open it up now to, to. Oh wait! Lastly, um, we are a small startup company um, located in Mountain View, California. This is uh, our, our prototype. This project has been going for six months. We've got two of these robots built, and um, we are now looking for um, for funding, venture capital, or uh, manufacturing partners to go into production. We hope to get about a dozen. Um, in people's hands by the end of summer and then ramp up production from there. Um, we expect them to cost around 30K uh, initially, which is pretty comparable with a, a mid-range teleconference system, but you have the advantage of not being stuck in a room. Um, this robot, you can take your presence wherever you want it to be. You can go talk to people at their cubicles, go to the lab, go to the, the manufacturing floor, or just hang out by the water cooler and kind of see how, how things are going, <laughs> you know, really. It, feel like you're actually there. So, yeah, our first question. Uh, uh, so were you inspired by the tele television show The Jetsons? Were we inspired by the television show The Jetsons? Uh, um, uh, uh, not, maybe. Um, so this company was started in 2001 when our, our founder uh, said, you know, it's 2001, I expected there to be robots by now, where are they? I'm going to have to do something about that. So, um, in that way, sort of. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes. Does it have any type of like docking station for recharging? Does it have a docking station? This model does not. This is uh, our very first prototype. It's pretty high on our list of, of features for the next iteration. Um, there's a, a lot of little tweaks we want to do since this is sort of the very first of each thing we've made. Um, but yeah, uh, a docking station and then enough navigation to be able to, to move to the docking station by itself are, are two features that we're, we're really definitely going to look into in the future. So you have to actually physically swap out the batteries? Um, right now, you either swap out the batteries or there's a regular um, laptop uh, barrel connector. You just plug in a cord and it charges in about an hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, are they self-replicating? Can they repair themselves? Are they self-replicating? Um, no, not yet. This robot is um, designed as a communication tool. Um, so we, we actually have prototypes of robots with arms, with 18-degree uh, of freedom hands that have, can move all the same ways that a human can. But for this product, um, we, were, we were talking, and it really seems to us that when someone goes on a business trip, um, they're not going there so they can pick up things and carry them other places. When you, when you need to fly someone, it's so that they can and exchange ideas, yes. communicate. This is, this is the and, um, So we've designed this robot yeah. primarily as a Thank communication you. tool with, all, with that in mind as our top priority all the time. Yes? In a conference setting. We're at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Nevada, and this is the uh, AnyBots. And uh, they just developed the, uh, the first AnyBot wide enough angle to get an entire conference table in. So the question is about using this robot in a, a conference setting and whether it automatically turns. At the moment, um, it does not, the, but the driver has full control of the robot. So if someone's talking, you can easily just you know hit the, the left button and it can turn and face me. Um, uh, 
one <laughs> sort one, one of our, our sort of philosophies is this is not necessarily to completely replace oh, the conference who's room, driving. but it's sort of for a different purpose. Whenever you're going to have a meeting with uh, a teleconference room, it's sort of going to be like a meeting, you know, with a, with a capital M where it's arranged ahead of time and everyone schedules it and it's on their calendars and it's going to be a very sort of formal thing. There's probably going to be PowerPoint involved. Um, this robot is really more designed um, so that you can have a presence like you're actually there. You know, if, if you're actually in the building, then when you have an idea, you can just roll up to Bob's cubicle and say, hey, Bob, I had this idea. What if we put a widget on top of the thingamabob? And, and he can be like, oh, yeah, that is a good idea. And Here we are, folks, at any bot. You conversation and, uh, right there without having to schedule it. Be prepared to be talking and, to uh, any bot in, in the near future. And, and sort of have this high